been working on this for a few days now. So here what we have is a mech lighting project. So this guy is a mech lighting node MCU that has WS 2812B NeoPixels. And um, this particular guy is controlled using a web interface. You can turn off, you can select whatever color you want. And you can do different kind of animations. You can check um, what kind of animations you want to do. You can go to Twinkle. And my favorite is Fireworks. But there you go. So you can go and change the intensity um, for that. You can change the intensity and the speed. So this particular server um, connects to the internet and that is how you control this. And you can also integrate this with Home Assistant. But uh, what I've been working on for a few days is actually creating clients. So basically this particular client, there is a client here. This particular client has uh, 16 uh, LEDs. This has eight, this has 120. But these clients are not going to be connected to the internet. So they're going to connect among themselves as well as the server. This is the schematic of what is happening. So we have a server that communicates with the internet and the rest of the clients, they communicate with each other using mesh network and they communicate with the server as well. So what happens is each of these client gets its own IP. So you see they are on a different IP subnet and uh, this particular server as a station gets a different IP from the internet and uh, you can use any client to communicate to this particular IP by putting this IP address in your browser. So basically you access the web page here, control the server and the server takes care of sending the message. The mesh communicate with each other, sending the message to each other, making sure that everyone gets the message. So all I have to do is power on uh, the server. So It turns on and synchronizes with this. So select static, both of them uh, synchronize. So this server interacts with this web interface and um, this client interacts with this guy. Okay, so say rainbow, so these two synchronize with each other. Now let's go and turn on this guy. So it starts with the animation that it was working with, but now it has synchronized, okay? So all this is now going through the same animation, no matter what you select. So you say blink, all of them blink the same. Dual scan, scan differently. So this is slower than this, uh, but that is because you have more LEDs that are controlled to color wipe. blink and it's going to turn this guy on that turns on and synchronizes as well the best part is now everything is synchronized okay so now let's say I turn one of these guys off so there you go and we change the color okay so basically these guys are going to synchronize now um, this guy is going to communicate Okay, so now these guys have synchronized and they're all the same color. Um, so let's go and change that to red. Okay, so this guy was still a different color. So now we're gonna turn this on. This guy is yellow, so now it is synchronized, and now it gets its uh, pinkish color. 
So there you go. So basically everything now is communicating with each other and this is a server and all this is a mesh ad hoc network. So they can actually talk to each other and doesn't matter whether there is a Wi-Fi network and this guy is a standalone um, web server that is actually communicating with all these clients. Um, so there you go. So you have uh, uh, ad hoc network, a mesh network. So we use something called painless mesh and painless mesh takes care of actually the communication between each other. Um, so there you go. So what we also have is a different UI. So the idea is the same. So here you can actually change the speed, increase the speed, decrease the speed, pick whichever you want. So there you go. So This is my favorite animation, there you go, so it's like a meteorite. So go ahead and check out uh, this particular project that's still in experimental stage. So if you want to contribute, go ahead and contribute. Um, I'll leave the links below.